wire? Uh, I was actually hoping to share some of it maybe, but then I got out there and I was in the front and um, I was like, oh, I can do this. So I just kind of ran comfortably and uh, picked it up the last, I think it was like last like four laps or so. Yeah. Was the wind difficult for you on the back stretch? Uh, it was a little difficult, yeah, but um, it didn't really bother me too much. I don't know, we, it's always windy when we practice on our track, so it didn't really phase me too much. Um, we're used to it, so it wasn't too bad. Was your attempt at a wire to wire win your plan? Um, no, actually, it wasn't. Um, I was hoping to maybe like share some of the lead, but then it just didn't pan out that way. And um, But I felt comfortable, I felt strong leading, and I'm like, this is fine, um, as long as I'm comfortable and I can just pick it up the last bit. And, um, so it worked out really well. So even in the blustery wind, you weren't concerned about leading the whole way? No, I just wasn't concerned with like how fast I was going to be running. Because um, if it wasn't windy, maybe I would have like tried to go a little bit faster, but I wanted to stay comfortable. I didn't want to be going all out. Um, and, I, and I did that, so I think I read it well. Yeah. Tell, tell us about your move and your thought process when you made that move about four or five laps ago. Well, I knew there was still, I could like see on the screen there was still um, some people there in the pack. So like, if I just pick it up a little bit, then maybe I can just break it open. And so I didn't, don't think I picked it up that much at all, really. I just picked it up a little bit, and, um, and then there was that break, and so I just took advantage of it. Yeah. Are you going to run 5,000 or 10,000 USS? Uh, the 10,000, yeah. I'm excited for that. Do you think that's going to your Yeah, I, um, I really enjoy the longer stuff. So the longer I go, the more comfortable and confident I feel. So um, the 5K is actually my like, least comfortable event. So um, I'm really looking forward to the, like, what's next for me, the longer stuff. Yeah, I mean, but 10,000, you think, for the next couple of years, or you think you see yourself really stepping up to like half marathon? Like yeah, um, next like year to 10K, yeah, but I mean, I'm 23 years old, so I don't see it like that far off in the future stepping up. So I'm just going to enjoy it though, like, I'm not going to look too far ahead. Like, I'm just going to try to work on like mastering my 10K. One hour book. Congratulations. Four Thank you. Are you making the team at um, I mean, I'm going to give it my best shot. It's a very right tough here. field this year. Uh, with like Molly, Shalane, and Amy, all of them. Um, so it's going to be tough, but um, I'm feeling like strong. So I'm just going to go out there and I'm going to give it all today. And we'll see what that, where that lands me. Yeah. You, you got it I am. Yep, that was my last race. <laughs> so are you staying in the comments? Yeah. You guys got a pretty nice training. Yeah, it's working. What, what I'm doing is working well. I like it. I like Ray. Um, I'm doing the MBA program at Providence, so I have one more year of that. So I'll be there anyway, finishing it. So, this is fun. <laughs>